Hello there ladies and gentlemen, what is going on, it is your boy Prophecy here today and I'm bringing you this new video, um, first off I apologise for not uploading recently you know I've been incredibly busy, uh, obviously still getting all the settings set up properly on my PS4 getting like all my headset and everything all set up so it's all fine for my like gameplay and how I play, also I've got a new desk so I had to set that up as well that, um, that took about a week, week, two weeks maybe to actually Finally, get my dad to build that up. You know, he's one well, of them dads where you go, Dad, this needs done. He'll be like, Yeah, I'll do it. And six months later, it still needs doing, but you know, you don't nag him because, yeah, you just don't nag dads because they shout. They shout, they shout a lot. But anyway, um, yeah, the first thing I want to talk about is Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, I've got a few topics to talk about, but my first topic for Call of Duty Ghosts is the new map pack coming out called onslaught it looks absolutely fantastic you know there's four new maps as always one extinction map normally it would be zombies but uh, obviously we have extinction on here so four new multiplayer maps one new extinction mode it says though it's one out of four so that must mean that there's um four like obviously there's going to be four dlc so that must mean that we're going to get one new story to this new infected uh, not infected, what am I on about? Um, you know what I mean. I can't. I extinction game mode. And so that should be pretty cool. Um, but the names of the maps are as follows. Containment, Bayview, Fog, and Ma not Maverick, and Ignition. Uh, the other four new maps. After watching these on YouTube, obviously I'm on the PS4, so I'm going to have to wait another month. Uh, for you guys to get gameplay that I apologize I know it's like a month of waiting for the gameplay but you know you can have to wait a month I'm sorry uh, that's a bad youtuber right there but I'm sorry about that and also there's a new gun coming out called the Maverick now if you don't know if you've been hit in a cave if you haven't been watching any Call of Duty if if you just haven't been doing anything just lately, uh, if you've just been locked up in a cave with no internet, then you will know that the, you won't know, sorry, that there's a new gun coming out called the Maverick. And this Maverick is pretty darn good, I must say so myself, because not only is it an assault rifle, which I'm going to be so pumped to play with, because you'll see that nearly almost all my videos either come with a um, assault rifle, I love the Honey Badger, I love the SC2010, I love all the assault rifles pretty much, the ARX-180 is a really good assault rifle, so I love assault rifles, so adding a new one in with this Maverick will not only make my day, it would be absolutely phenomenal, because obviously, as I just said, I love assault rifles, but also it's um, available to be used as a sniper, so it's a hybrid gun like the Peacekeeper was last year on Black Ops 2, where it's half assault rifle, half SMG, which is pretty, it, that was a really good gun actually, I'm not going to lie, that was a phenomenal gun, so hopefully they, they do the same with a Maverick, but hopefully they don't make it too overpowered, uh, like the Peacekeeper was, you know, they had to do loads of um, quick release patches with that, because they found out how overpowerful the Peacekeeper was, so I hope they don't do that with a Maverick, you know, I hope the Maverick isn't too overpowerful, but then, you never know, if it's over powerful, then everyone's going to be using it, and it'll get nerfed that way for everyone using it, and, you know, there's just a long list of all the things that could happen which will make that gun get um, nerfed, or if it's really weak, then obviously it'll get upgraded, um, but apart from that, obviously it can be used as a sniper, but there is one thing that uh, Infinity Ward uh, said almost instantly is that with this gun, with a Maverick, you cannot have it both sniper and assault rifle within the same class. So that means that you can't rock uh, rock the Maverick assault rifle, then realize that everyone's camping up on the other side of the map and think, oh shit, I need a sniper. Then just like press a D pad or press, like, I don't know, aim in and like click the let L3 button, like the left analog stick in. So that'll like change it to like the sniper you can't do that obviously you'll have to have either the maverick assault rifle as one class and then the maverick sniper rifle as the other class i'm guessing or maybe you or maybe when you download it you choose either to have the sniper or the assault rifle on 
really not 100% sure on that. Obviously, when more gameplay comes out, when more people start playing it, then obviously we'll find out what actually happens with the Maverick Sniper. But apart from that, I can't say anything else on the map pack until obviously I get it. However, they look fantastic. And if you haven't already, go out and buy the Season Pass because not only do you save... I believe it's ten dollars and eleven pounds ninety nine pence in the UK. So it's, uh, you save around about ten pound or ten dollars wherever you come from. You save around about ten. Yeah, yeah. Te I'm gonna say ten pound, but I don't know. You might come from um, India. You might be an Indian viewer and you buy your stuff. And I think it's rupees. See, I don't know nothing about um, currency at all. I'm absolutely shocking with currency, but um, all I know is dollars and pounds, which is really bad. But if you buy the season pass, anyway, I'm getting off track. If you buy the season pass, you save around about £10. And also you get a limited edition um, patch, a limited edition background, a limited edition headgear, a limited edition body gear. And you save money. <laughs> Um, you save money, but unfortunately with the season pass, you don't get the wolf skin for free. Uh, you do, however, get the free full multiplayer map, which you would have got if you pre-ordered the game. But if you didn't pre-order the game, then you can pick it up for free with the season pass, which is another phenomenal thing that they have done with that. Uh, they also done that with Newtown 2025 last year. Oh, you get the Battle Hind there. Whoop, whoop. You know, I love the Battle Hinds. That, apart from that... I like getting the battle hinds, but then I don't like getting the battle hinds because that's so bad. Why did I go for the stab? Why did I go for the stab? But yeah, because that's so bad. Like um, the battle hinds, they just like float up in the sky and just shoot like one rocket every now and again. Why did I shoot the Yamakura for? I do not know. But anyway, yeah. So by the season pass, you get loads of cool stuff with it, and it's also saving you money. But obviously, if you can't afford the thirty-five pound in one go. Um, and you need the map packs and obviously you're gonna have to buy the map pack separately or you can buy the map pack separately then once you get enough money buy the season pass but it's completely up to you by the time you bought one by itself you might as well just buy the others by itself because obviously if not you don't get that saving that they give you that 10 pound for but um sorry about that if you heard that crackling right then but um yeah so that's the season pass one more thing that I want to speak about, about the map pack, obviously, is the Mike Myers. You get to play as Mike Myers, and that's basically a maniac. Everyone's getting so hyped over about this Mike Myers, Michael Myers character that you can play as. But really, it's just a maniac, so you're going to try and... But, it sounds like I'm hating on it, but I'm really not. I'm really looking forward to it, but it is just a maniac. So, to that one lucky person in that game who gets the Mike Myers... They're going to be so overpowered because people are going to be like, oh no, like shoot it like with 30 bullets and realise that it doesn't die. And be like, oh what the fuck, it don't die or whatever. And it won't, they won't attack it, they'll just run away from it. So I think that's going to be an overused kill streak. really. I don't really think that's anything that, people are going to get hyped about it and then just stop and don't worry about it. And that's how I feel that will be. And I know that sounds like a right downer. But I'm really not. I am really looking forward to it. But, you know, I just don't think that's as hyped. As, I don't think it's going to be as hyped as what everyone thinks it's going to be. But that's just my own opinion. Obviously, until I play the maps, until I watch more footage of the maps, I won't be able to comment. That stab then should have got the kill. I can't believe that. Watching that, that stab didn't actually hit him. That, that, that's ruthless. That is, that's just bull freaking horse shit. But, um, anyway, yep. <laughs> Before I get carried on with that, uh, there's one more thing I want to talk about, and that is the MLG version, the MLG side of Call of Duty. Now, if you're wondering what MLG is, it's Major League Gaming, and Major League Gaming is where all, like, a bunch of players, fantastic, phenomenal players, are in teams, and they Major League Gaming, pretty much. They go up against each other for tons of thousands of pounds of tournament and they're actually doing the one million dollar tournament on the 38th to the no 28th to the 30th of march this year and if you haven't heard about that if you've been locked up in a cage or locked up in a ca uh, cliff or not cliff uh locked up in a um cave cave that's what i'm looking for not cage not cliff not cave 
If you've been locked up in a cave without internet connection, then obviously you won't know about that. But um, one million dollar tournament, wow, that just says it all. You know, you're gonna have teams competing for that one million dollars from all around the world, playing Call of Duty Ghosts. And there's been loads of roster changes just lately to the MLG. I think Optic went through about three AR players, two submachine gun players before they finally settled on this new team. Um, which to me is just ludicrous. Why would you go through that many players, you know? They had fallen out, yes, I can understand that, but really that is just that is just too many roster changes. But um over the weekend, which has just been um the twenty fifth, sixth and seventh, there was the um two K series, which is as it says, two K series, the one gets two K or two thousand dollars. And um Curse Las Vegas are winning that seven to nil. They've played seven games and haven't lost one. That is just completely phenomenal there. Uh, if oh, if only my team that I support Optic could do that well, you know, um, the green wall of 1-5 lost 4, which isn't too good, isn't too great considering there's 8 teams, but you know, hopefully they can bring it back. Ugh, I say that with a lot of hope, a lot, a lot of hope, but um, nevertheless I'm going to carry on supporting them, uh, The that's the Wimber Intertational anyway. The 2K series, um, I can't actually remember who won that. Let me Google that, who won the 2K series. Actually, no, I can't be bothered. You guys don't need to know. Obdig got into the semi-finals anyway and lost in the semi-finals. Uh, I don't know who actually won it. Complexity got knocked out pretty early on. Envy lost to Obdig in the quarterfinals. Um, so, yeah, that's like the main three teams there. Uh, get Like, Complexity, who has won, like... I think it's eight out of the last nine Call of Duty tournaments lost in the 2K, which is just really, considering their stats is real bad, you know, that's, um, considering how well they normally do, anyway, to get knocked out pretty early on in 2K series is pretty bad, but, um, nevertheless, I'm sure they'll bounce back like any other team, but the gameplay is almost closing to a draw now, there's just one more thing that I want to say, um, just before we end. I've made up like a new Twitter and a Twitch because obviously I can stream with my um, PS4 now. So, oh, that is the end of the game. Oh shit! But anyway, I'm just gonna carry on talking real quick. Um, yeah. So the two, not two K. My new, I've got a new Twitter which I will post on here. It is at Prophecy Project YT uh, because Prophecy Project was taken up. So Prophecy Project YT stands for Prophecy Project, which is my channel and YouTube which is obviously what I do and what I want to do as a job hopefully hopefully we can make that happen and also I have twitch which is www.twitch.tv slash devil's prophecy d3v1lz underscore prophecy my game and tell you can see that on the screen now right there uh, above that got what it takes but um so yeah that should be all pretty cool I'm gonna put that all up on the screen anyway for when you're watching this and in the description below open your boy prophecy and all I can say now is see ya <laughs>